good morning and welcome to today's video. Day two back at work today. I'm riding into town and I'm late. Probably shouldn't be talking to the camera. Hello. How late am I? Four minutes. That's the latest I've ever been. It's the latest. The meeting started four minutes ago. So you remember I was saying I wasn't feeling very well yesterday. Whatever George gave me in the form of those pills. Amazing. Smashed it home. Felt well good. We got some really, really good work to do today. You're going to love it. Well, oh, really? No, meetings, mate. Sit oh. down meetings. Do, 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 do. What's that? Was yeah, it that picture that was falling apart? It was the one that fell apart. Yeah. And we, just, we, were like, we don't want to throw that away. Imagine how many great photos you can take of me and Chris all rides. Inside, you could dress you as a Polaroid it. sort of, you know, people do that. Hairy man looks confused. <laughs> Practice him for when Chris gets No, you're him. not allowed through the frame. This will be uh, the first time we've been together since Calpe. Yeah. Wow, it's been a time. It's, it's been, been a long a, time, it's been isn't a long it? time. You've been to South Africa. I've been to Tenerife. Chris has been to Atlanta. Jess, where you been? Been here. Just been here. Atlantis, not oh, Atlanta. Oh, Atlantis. Yeah. Under the sea. Are you just gonna wear that for the rest of the day now? Yeah. Yes. It's like you're in a mirror and pariah's backwards because you're in a mirror. <laughs> oh yeah. Was that backwards before you put that on? No. It sounds strange. It used to say Atticus. Hello. Ooh, missed you. Missed you. Oh, your beard feels nice. Is it pretty? <laughs> Deliveries. I actually, I actually know what these things are. Like, Postman bin. Sun's come out exactly for this. This is a thingy we've been waiting for delivery uh, for ages for. Oh, and it's these things. Yeah, these. Nice, yeah. Can't this. Good. <laughs> Why don't I get one? TT bike parts. What oh, the hell, hell man? That looks ridiculous. Look at that badger. The spinniness, like messes with the camera's frame rate but that's spinning real fast. So the idea behind this is that it all runs a lot smoother but your gear shifting is going to suffer. A little bit. Uh, so these are going on our TT bikes, where we travel mainly in straight lines at high speed. This helps with that. We're not changing gear that often, so we don't have to worry about the shifting suffering too much. It's not like a crit where you're changing gear every like 20 seconds. It just means the chain's not going around so many high corners. It's straighter chain. Less bends, so but it's more efficient. And it does look pretty bling. And they um, look pretty banging. There is also other weird benefits, for example, uh, the Shimano ones, you know the Shimano normal Dorella ones? Yeah. Those jockey wheels have got a bit of float in. Yeah. You don't need that if you've got a big pulley yeah. because it because it has like its own flex and everything. It means that having a wonky chain line if you're in the 11 loads ain't too bad. But mainly it's red. Mainly it's uh, red and I've got red on my TT bike. So the red is important. I didn't uh, go for red because I don't have red on my TT bike. I, I've got somewhere the amount of times I shifted at the National 24s last year. How many times was it? It's less than 300. I think it was like 260. Really? Like yeah. Over 24 Wh hours? Which would be like once every like le like seven, eight minutes or that. Has anyone used these before in the comments? Like put it down below. How much did your shifting suffer? Don't know if it's even worth running one of these on a road bike, but be interested to know more. I think quite a lot of people have tried it on like road racing bikes and they don't really get on with it too well. Nah. I think it just takes too much. It detracts away from the, the shifting where <laughs> You might you need, you need to shift all the yeah. time. Whereas time trial, different kettle of fish. And a rice cake, but then I've already had my fish. I love another rice cake. He I can't think. eat fish, he's allergic to fish. No, I can't eat what fish, are you doing? So I just have the rice cake. What are you doing? Tasting the red. Cool, well we're gonna be doing a bit of testing on those uh, over the next few weeks, so let's know how it is. Well these guys are, I haven't got a TT bike. But we'll report back. Yeah. Put on bicycle. It's not a bicycle. Put on you just scratched his frame. Yeah. <laughs> you got a flat view in. You gotta get out. We no, could buy it. We just invite George oh, yeah. Jeffrey. Are you paying? Because I can't afford it. Oh, Jimmy will pay. Okay, yeah. Jimmy's paying. That's loud. It's pretty loud. <laughs> don't want to talk to him. Who is it? I don't know. If, they, if it's important, then leave a message. If I don't know the number, don't want to answer it. If it's important, they'll leave a message. You full winter kit. Better. Look at that flare. You can't look at it, because... I can't see it. Me and George are going to ride home and go and do laps. Do you want to come? Oh, it's wet. Uh, no. Jess, why are you not joining us? Because I'm still ill. From when you I'm just like telling everyone I know, like, tell me not to go riding. <laughs> it would make you worse and you'd end up being sick for longer. That's true. You're not going riding. And I want to ride on Sunday. But after all this rest, you're going to come back with so much form. Think of it that way. I'm just resting, aren't I? 
I'm gonna come back better. Rest. You will come back better. If you were riding before, now you've had time off. You'll yeah. be you'll be pinging. Just how it works. You can eat all the ride snacks in the cupboard, <laughs> so you feel like you've been riding. <laughs> you got your energy drink. <laughs> so much. Gonna put on my new gloves. Go for a bike ride. What's your session? Two and a half hours. The old zone two. Come on, mate. Lawrence. Such a nice evening. I bet Jess is really upset. Just as long as she doesn't see this video, it'll be all right. Yeah. Shh. Don't tell Jess how nice it is. Nicest ride I've ever done. Probably the best ride ever. What are your goals this year, man? You've been uh, training hard. You're looking lean. You've outgrown a medium gilet. And then you've outgrown a small gilet, I've or, or, or undergrown it. I've or, undergrown all yeah. my gilets. Jimmy, can I have a new gilet, please? So I've basically been preparing to ride a full race season of twice a week for like 14 weeks. Road race at the weekend, crit race in the week. Pretty much, yeah. Alternating some time trials in there, some weekend like town centre crits, just getting stuck in. I'm excited. Hopefully I'll join you for a little bit. You'll join me for a little bit. Yeah, revolve. You'll have to drop off the back of groups now. We jump back on every now and again. I think and you'll be we'll, better than me at this rate. And then we'll ride revolve together. Oh yeah. Oh maybe. So when we had some time in the coffee shop earlier, we were discussing the possibility of racing Revolve as a jam team. So a mixed team, just me, George and Chris. We think that will be a winning combination. It's a 24 hour race we're doing in September. We're actually hosting it and racing it. Who would beat us? I don't know who could beat us. I'd invite people to enter. Yeah. Like if you think you could put together a mixed team, give us some competition, that would be awesome. The more the merrier, should be a wicked event. September 14th, 15th. It's so nice to have a bit of company riding home. As I was saying yesterday, Summer just around the corner, man. Look how green all the things are. Right, quick spin home for me. Love cycling. 